Yep, yeah, guys. So we've got a Vancraft seat bracket going on a 2008 T5 standard seat. Let's give it a whirl. See how it goes. First job, pushing these side bolts, spline, fit in. See how it goes. If you see it up, 17 mil, loosen your seat belt, belt anchor. On this bolt in the world. Pull that away. The next two bolts holding on. M12 spline. One, two. Get them off. And then you need a spanner on back because that's spinning. 19 spanner on back. There's no washes on that one, so just not bolt. Do the other one. That bolt out. Give it a wiggle when you try and lift it up. And you should. Give it a pull. And that's off. So then, to peel the back. Just be careful. And if you can see. On these side brackets, you've got a, a washer. Just make sure that stays in place, or put it to one side, because that helps it to spin on your, on your bracket. I don't know, if you just get it laid down, you just put your seat back down, and it's on top of that. You need to take the back off. So apparently, you just get your fingers in, Give it a pull. It slides in it. So that, that plastic clip slides underneath that, apparently. Yep. There you go, and pop. So that gives you access to the bolts inside. So as we peel that back, you've got, as you can see, one, two, and the one more is up here. You just have to push form back. There you go. That one at the top here. So three bolts to take out. All M12 splines again. Give that a whirl. Fiddle on that one, you've got to really compress it down. Well, that top bolt's a bit awkward, but once you get in with your socket, you start turning it. It's tight because it's up against that bar when it does go. So them three bolts out, should pull out, there you go, original, original bracket.
One craft bracket, original bracket. Obviously, I don't think you can use this your plastic trim, so because you'll need access to a mechanism. Yeah, these are the three bolt holes. I've just took out one, two, three. All right, let's get this back in. Bit of a wiggle. That's it. Bolt holes lined up. Your bolts back in. Get one in place. That's it. I know all the three holes up. They're dropping easy enough. Once you get your holes started loose, get your ratchet right on. And you put all three of your back up. That's all three bolts tightened up. I know you can, uh, you can get a piece of plywood or you could make one for how hard it is and then when you've got it folded down, you end up with a nice flat table. So these, remember now I took them out, just slots under, clip, yeah. back on. So you get your bracket bolted on, covering back on. Let's get it back together. So as you get these side brackets apart, drop it in, and you've got them two bolt holes to line up. What I'm going to do is just put a screwdriver through, hold that one in place, and let me get a bolt in. Get your two bolts in, get your nuts on, back on 10 12 fly, nuts on back, one, two. Spanner on back, nice and tight. Get your two bolts in, and I'll put your seatbelt bolt back on. Seat belt back on, 17 mil bolt, straight through. Remember, get your belt nice and uh, clean. You don't want to lose anybody. <laughs> Maybe. Then you just like your side bracket, two bolts on either side. Just make make sure that washer's there. Some pivots on that. So we're back on to M10 spline socket. Completely take this rack here off, like I said. So leave them loose, them bottom two ones loose. Completely take that one out. Nice and tight. Then repeat on the other side. Like I said about these fiber washers, just as I was buttoning mine up, it had dropped out. So they don't fasten in, they just push back in. So just be aware of that when you tighten it back up, moving it about. Keep it there. And that's it, done. Back together. Like 10 minutes, 
15 minutes on your own. Only thing is locating holes on your own. But if there's two on you, it's a 10 minute job this, seriously. You've got what? Loosen two bolts, take two off on bracket, take three off on back. That's your lot, really. I'll just give it a whirl. You can see angle straight away at difference for passengers. And then to drop it, we've got this on these newer ones. Apparently, they didn't have them at older ones. So that's locked, so you can't move it. You've got your lever there. As you can see. So, what we do is spin the knob, loosen it, push the lever down. Voila. Gives you the extra room. Whether well, you want it to the table, if you put a piece of wood in, or if you want to, I don't know, put some ladders in, etc. Carry a dead body. I'll tell nobody. But yeah, quality piece of kit that. And easy, easy mod. Cheers for watching, guys. I hope that helps somebody somewhere like that. Some seed covers next. Cheers.